One of the most commonly asked questions I personally get on this channel is how do I get my significant other to play games with me? How is it that you're playing games with your husband, but my wife, significant other, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, won't play games with me? Well, many, 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 many months ago, I asked on Facebook, women specifically, non-gamer women specifically, what is your reason for not playing games? And today we're gonna talk about it. All right, so before we even get into this, we did discuss, I think there were six different opinions on why yeah, women didn't I... want a game. Six, I guess. Excuses. Oh, yeah, six <laughs> excuses why somebody wouldn't wanna play games. I will say first off, you're never gonna get somebody to play games with you that doesn't like games, that doesn't wanna play games, that can't subscribe to the idea of playing games. But you can't force them to. You didn't love games before you started the hobby. I, here's one. Here's one thing I was thinking about. I didn't ever not love games. You weren't playing the games I wanted to play. And how do you tell somebody who's enjoying their own hobby, you're not doing what I want you to <laughs> you're do not doing your to hobby make right. me <laughs> like it more? It wasn't for me to tell you how to game, but yeah. he played a lot of sports games back then. I was, yeah. And that was pretty much what you played. I did, uh, for probably about 10 years or so, yeah. I just didn't have as much time uh, but that's also shippers. my fault. Yeah. Because when you were playing games... I blame everything on you. Uh, okay. But <laughs> when he was playing games, I'm like, but you're not spending time with me because we didn't share the hobby. Huh? So you were playing games that were easy to jump in I and out I would jump of. in and out. Like, oh, I got an hour, I'm going to go play a game of hockey. Just because I, I, it was fun. I wanted to play something fun. And exactly. But I looked at that and I'm like, not for me. Yeah. But that's the thing how do you convey to somebody what you're doing is not something that i would enjoy doing could you do the things that i enjoy so i can enjoy this with you but you you don't think of that you're just going no. that's not for me and you move on with your life but i think if a lot of women realized how much fun it could be how much it can just be de-stressing de like just squash all the stresses yeah. you have like the laundry can get done later it's fine the problems you had at work yesterday are problems from yesterday. They don't need to come home with you. You could just sit down and play a game, live in a different reality, and just forget all the shit that is everyday life. There's a lot of so. There's a lot of crap. Can I say? Can I ask something before yes. you get into the six excuses, or you have on paper six reasons, so I call them excuses. Since you've started gaming, and she games, she plays more games in a year than I do now. What benefits have you seen since you started gaming? I cannot stress this enough my anxiety is almost zero. I do get frustrated by some retro games, but I don't take it It's a hard. different type of, it's that's a, frustration, not anxiety. That's different. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I think I was such a go, 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 go all the time. My mindset was if you're moving, if you're being productive, you're getting things done. Maybe I'm just moving stuff around. Maybe I'm not actually getting anything I've done. No, I've seen that all the time. Yeah, and I was just creating this mindset that if I was constantly moving, I would, everything would be okay. I would eventually get to my goal and it didn't always happen. Sometimes I could work my way through it. Sometimes I was just working to, for the sake of working. I wasn't getting anything accomplished, just but just moving. making myself yeah. upset at the end of the day. So now that you force yourself to sit down and relax and have fun, yeah. Now you have less of that chaos time that you have to be, you have to force yourself to be more efficient at getting your stuff done. I do, exactly, so. because I know that's what I really want to be doing. I want to be sitting down here, not just single player games. A lot of yeah. our game time is split our half weekends. and half. Yeah. Our weekends are like with friends coming down, we're laughing, we're having a good time, there's no stress. It's just pure enjoyment where nobody cares about anything else but just spending time with each other and playing a game it's so simple it's that simple and i just wish people would understand it and it can be that simple for you and we're gonna go over these six excuses but i i, I say reasons, reasons because i've been on that side of the line number one right off the bat this is going to be i would say probably 75 percent of people out there that have shown a bit of an interest in gaming it's too complicated especially I, I, for my generation what? yes like yes. if you go from like playing super mario when mm -hmm. you were a kid to try to jump in to play I don't know, my like, first game skyrim 
<laughs> oh my god, yeah, like that's one extreme to the other there. Yeah. Like it's too that's too much. Yeah. Let's stick to very basic controls. You yeah. know? And like I think when you take like for me, I had to be like a mentor of mm -hmm. what to recommend for you to play the next yeah. time. Knowing your skill level, knowing what you're gonna enjoy, mm -hmm. stuff like that. And uh not all games are that complicated, especially no. indie games. There are a ton of games that are modeled after retro games that are just easier than the retro games. They're still like, you get two button controls and stuff yeah. like that. Like you have a jump button, action button. And there's tons button. of different sorts of genres. If you're not into scary games, you don't play scary games. If no. you're not into RPGs, you don't play them. Maybe you like maybe a like, simulator. Maybe, maybe like that's your games. jam. Maybe you like, yeah, puzzle, yeah. platformers. Yeah. Maybe that's your thing. So I think Whoever's introducing you to games, whoever's helping you find that love for the hobby can maybe, you you need to communicate, this is what I like. This is what I like. This, this is, is what, what I, I would think I would like because I'll tell and you for one thing, you may, I, for me for years and years and years, I, I didn't like RPGs and then I actually forced myself to sit down and play through one and now I love it. But if you would have so. started there. Yeah, like maybe I would have gave up, maybe or maybe, up. or maybe I would have loved it from day one. Yeah, it's hard to yeah. say. It's it's really hard to say. Number two, I think, speaks to a lot of women. Priorities have changed. You become mothers. You become wives. Yep. You don't have time for that. You have a full time job. There's been no other time in history like now. You ha have to have two people working in the household. Yep. You're not going to have games if you can't have two people working. Like, sometimes it's not even feasible then, but when your priorities have changed so drastically, it's hard to say, I get to make time for me. And that was a big problem for me, too, especially when Alex was little. I think you feel so overwhelmed with everything. Like, women will take on, like, Jen will take on everything. She she, she works a full-time job, but and then she will take on almost the full time house duties at the same time yeah. there and like you know I'm sure a lot of women do the same thing they'll have a full time job and then they'll come home and they'll cook and they'll clean and do all this and that and look after the kids and do all that and then at the end of the day they're absolutely exhausted and they don't have time for themselves and then they just sit on their phone and yeah. wait to go to bed yeah pretty you know? much but what if you could just put your phone aside and the kids were in or, bed and you just say, I'm going to make time for me. I need an hour. I need an hour every day just to go and play my game and just huh, have a little bit of fun. Right? Let the husband there, let, let your hubby or whoever, your significant other, you you take over for an hour. I'm going to my space or whatever. We all I need that. Yeah. Men, women, children, everybody needs it. It's It'll help you recharge. It, it really will. And when you're playing a game, there's you can't really multitask. You, no, <laughs> you, focus you're focused on the game. There. Yeah. Yeah. So it just kind of like sets a re puts a reset on your mind yeah. a little bit. And I, it's so beneficial. Number three kind of goes hand in hand with that, but it's lack of time. Lack of time and priorities. But but I think we all live in a busy world. We have busy lives. But like I just said, if you can take an hour or two, mm -hmm. maybe not even every day, because I don't game every single no, day. No, and I don't either. But like I'll plan a day out and I'm like, I think I can fit a couple hours of gaming in today during this time and then make it a priority because you need that fun time. Anybody can say they have there's not enough time. I think we all feel like that. There's never enough time, but it's how you delegate out your time. You really need to, if it's important to you to have, if that's your jam, if you enjoy gaming, if you think you'd enjoy gaming, then you make the time for it. No. And it makes you a better person, a better human when you have given back to yourself. I think with uh, modern games, because there are so many, you know, games constantly saving for you that like it's it's very easy for me to come down and play for an hour and then and walk away. put it in rest mode and walk away yeah. and come down the next day and do the same thing it's not like when you're playing those older games you have to hit a save spot so modern games are way more convenient for that yeah like, it's easier to come down and play for x amount of minutes or hours and then just walk away and be done there for the day number four too competitive well you Depends don't have on the to, game you yeah. don't have to play online I know we live in I a bit don't. of a digital, online, massive, open world gaming era. You don't have to play online. 
You don't have to play competitive games. No, you can play co-op games. You can play co-op games, and yeah. co-op games can be some of the best experiences you'll yeah. ever have is sitting down in a group because you're helping each other achieve one goal. And yeah. how often do we want anybody to help us achieve this one singular goal? And, it's, and, and you're having fun and you're laughing. We'll like, play in groups of three, four, and five. Yeah, or, or two. Yeah. Real, yeah. like really. So it doesn't have to be a competitive sport. Gaming can be very fun, very relaxing. Yeah, it's just, you gotta go find the right game. Exactly. There's thousands upon thousands of different kinds oh of games. Oh my God. You just trust me, if you go look for what, you'll find it. This next one is a little bit triggering for me because I feel like I've been guilty of doing it. It's don't need the extra screen time. I think we're all I've having way I, too much screen time. I believe we're all addicts to screen time. Yeah. In this modern day. And myself included, they're like, even at work, you know, at lunch, everybody's looking at their phone, nobody's talking to you anymore. You trust me, you get lots of screen time. Do you really tell me, like, if those hour or two a day, hours a day or a couple times a week that you decide I'm going to sit there and play a game, that you're not actually going to be on your phone or watching TV? Do you think there's less... You think you're adding more screen time? I doubt it. I would argue that the screen time you're replacing and not adding is actually beneficial because they've done studies, especially with seniors, mm -hmm. that it helps your cognitive abilities by playing games. Making it's, you think. It's making you think. It's not just yep. idle, mindless scrolling. Yep. It'll help with your reaction time. Mm -hmm. It'll help with your dexterities, like with your fingers. It'll help you think. You're trying to solve puzzles. You know, you're getting involved in the story. There's a lot there. It's you, not passive. It's not passive. There's music. There's amazing art and graphics. There's a lot there. The screen time that you are replacing, like social media, I feel there's a lot of toxicity. Oh on that. my So you're gosh. replacing that toxic environment, possibly. Not everybody, I know it's not, not no. everybody, like my, my social media is not toxic because I don't allow it to be toxic. Exactly. But I'm sure there is a lot. So maybe if you replace some of that with, I, gaming is art yeah. in many different forms. And you're choosing your avenue of art. You're choosing what makes sense to you and what is meaningful to you. And the very last one, and I feel like this is a bit of an older mindset, but I get where you're coming from, yeah. is it can be addictive. And I think that was, it's still prevalent now. I think it was more prevalent probably like 20, 30 years ago because as a culture, gaming is more acceptable now. Here's what I'll say when it comes to addiction. Um, gaming, you are not gonna be any more addicted to a really good game and a really good story than you would be to finish a really good book. Yeah. Or to binge watch a series on Netflix. Yeah. Or a really good movie. At the end of it, you're gonna feel so good that it, it was amazing and you're gonna, you know, what's my next adventure I wanna do? It's, it's, I have never experienced anything of being an addict. If anything, I have to force myself to give myself that extra time during the week mm -hmm. because I know it's beneficial to me. Yes, absolutely. And the friggin' phones, they're way more they're, addictive. They're terrible. They're, they're way are terrible. more addictive. Yeah. And I don't know if you get anything from it at the end of the day. When you finally put your phone down before you go to bed, oh. you you almost feel empty. You're like, yeah. I wasted so much time. Yeah. And There's a reason why nothing. your phone will tell you how much screen time you had from one week to the next. Yeah. yeah. There's a reason why these devices will tell you to relax. <laughs> because yeah. none of us are. We're like just getting worked up by what's on yeah. our phone. Oh, yeah. Or the constant it's a stimulant. motion. It, your phone's a stimulant. Yeah. yeah. You know, I, I just feel more stimulated in a positive way when I'm gaming. Yeah. It's just, it's, I don't know if that, maybe that's me. If you're just watching us for the first time and you're like, well, I don't know how to get into it. I don't know anybody that, you know, I don't have a significant other, you know, maybe you're a female or a guy or whatever. You message one of us there. Like yeah. we, the this channel, community. we don't have a big channel, but our community has some of the best people I've ever talked to online. Ever, ever. So. And we made real friendships through yeah. this uh, locally even. Locally, 
on the other side of the world. I have friends in pretty much every country, I think, yeah. now. <laughs> like, it's crazy. It's but crazy. But that's all from gaming and YouTube. Yeah, so. and we've added so much extra to our life by accepting yeah. this, especially for me. I think it was a big, yeah. by me I... finally making time for myself and enjoying this hobby with you, we've yeah. added so much. We've added all these friends because you wouldn't have them yep. because you would feel My a little bit stifled. No, but you feel stifled by <laughs> oh, yeah. the amount of time because you I, would have. Uh, yeah, because it, no, it's no longer like our time together like it's like me and my friends but now it's us and our friends yeah, yeah. and then you guys if, if you're starting if you're trying to figure out where to go with this maybe start off by hunting those games out that yeah. was so much fun it was almost like a date night we yeah. would date day because we'd go during a saturday yep. we'd wake up in the morning we'd have breakfast our, our son was old enough to stay home and we just go out and we laugh and we yeah, talk we and we'd we enjoy looking and, for games. Yeah, it was nothing too overly serious, but I mean, you know, we're not like, we're not reselling and stuff. We're just out there for the hunt, the thrill of it. Yeah, fun. and just having fun. And just enjoying other. the time, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Same and, thing with yard is, sales, thrift stores, pawn shops. It was all kind of the same. Let's go check this yeah. one out. Yeah, and it was before I even really knew what I wanted in a game. Yeah, but you've actually found a few games on your own. Oh, that yeah. You know, like Alice Madness Returns. That's I think one that big was a turning you. point for me where yeah. I was like, I do have a voice as a gamer. I do know what I like. And then now when we go out, we're both looking for games. I'm not just looking for games just for you. For stuff for I'm looking for stuff for games and I, the group. And the group, exactly. Yeah. So I would urge anybody that has a little bit of an inkling, a little bit of consideration that they might enjoy gaming, talk to your significant other. Just say, I'm, I'm a little bit nervous. I don't know how to go about this hobby because you can feel a bit inadequate when you're starting something that oh, you yeah. know nothing, nothing about. I still sometimes feel inadequate when I talk to other gamers that have been doing it way longer, but the community is so welcoming. Anybody and everybody will help you find what you love and get you where you want to go. You could have a great time and it could cause you a lot less stress in your life. You could just be, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you guys, I'm speaking from the heart when I say this, it has been life changing for me. Like, well, on a side note, if you want to see Jen's kind of evolution in her gaming, you can go back and check out some of her older videos mm -hmm. that were called what my gamer education gamer education yeah, yeah where she had people in our youtube community that would recommend games yeah. to her every month she would pick one of the three and then play it and every one was a different new experience and that's kind of how she learned yeah what she liked i actually have a whole just section of one that playlist yeah and i'll yeah. add that playlist at the end of this video nice and i think we are at the end so until next time guys enjoy your gaming enjoy your gaming game on